Morning, it's day 266 of 365 and today I'm fixing that car. I'm going to have to drive it really carefully down the garage now but I'm going to say goodbye to Bev first. Hello! You make sure you get up and do your LRPS, I'll see you later. She won't be up for another couple of hours. I've got two bottles of water like this here which I've got to fill up the car with. I think the problem is the pipes, one of them split on the motorway the other day, as horrible it was. Go on, get in there. Look, you can see it all pouring out the bottom already. James the mechanic usually starts quite late, so he says he's gonna meet me there at half nine. Anyone wanna place any bets that he's late? Hopefully I can help him get him started, get it up on the ramp with him and leave him to it for a couple of hours. Please be there, please be there, please be there. Oh, he's not in. That's his garage there, it's closed. Ah, there he is driving away in that car, there he is. Although he shouldn't be driving away, should he? He should be driving in this direction. He's probably got to get breakfast or something. Here he comes, I can see him walking down the street eating a sandwich or something. <laughs> Open sesame. I'm helping him take all the cars out of the garage at the moment. Just drove a Peugeot 206. What a horrible car. Last one, then we can go up on the ramp. I've never really had much luck with cars, no wonder I hate them so much. Our one's still running, we're warming it up so we can see where the fault is. Well, look at this, it's floating. Yeah. So we'll be better off buying a new car. <laughs> He says it's not going to cost me more than five hundred pounds. Five hundred pounds! Oh, I've left him to it. He's taken the engine apart. Then we've got to go down to Ford and buy some new pipes. Ooh. You might be asking yourself, why is he not taking it down to Ford? Well, if you take it down there, you know the bill's going to be about a thousand pound, twelve hundred pound, or something like that. The car's not worth eighteen hundred quid. Plus, you know what, this is probably complete coincidence, but it was all running absolutely fine until we took it for a service at Ford about a year ago now. It cost Bev about 220 quid and things started going wrong immediately after. What's more likely to be the real problem though, she just met me. Anyway, place your bets now. Is Bev going to be out of bed or not? It's 20 past 10 and I'll give 2 to 1 odds on no. I'm not a very good bookie, so I'll give 5 to 1 that she is out of bed. Be 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 be. Place your bets. Did anyone put five to one? She's still in bed. You've just won me a lot of money, dear. And just like that, she's out of bed. Are these the eight that you've picked so far? It looks to me like you are going to have absolutely no trouble in passing. Wow. Look at the state of the detail on that dragonfly. I've got to spend the rest of the morning waiting for James to ring me, I'm afraid. <laughs> you look like such a hippie today. Yes, I have. So you do your pictures and I'll do the car. Well, just as I said that, James called. He says the parts are being ordered now and I've got to go and pay for them. Uh, James doesn't take car. Not a surprise there, is there? So I've got to go cash machine. Oh, it's getting colder every day at the moment. I'd feel sorry for all these builders in the cold, but they've been doing nothing all summer, so it serves them right. I wonder how much money I haven't got left in my account. Hi, right, on screen balance. Unable to carry out this request. What the? Great, car's not working. I'm gonna have to walk to the bank now. I've got a feeling the car's just given up the ghost. It's pretty old, it's about four years, I think. Look at the bloody state of it, it's falling apart, peeling, and everything. And besides, maestros don't even exist anymore, do they? Tell me this, people. Why is everything always so friggin' difficult? I'm starting to get a bit pissed off, I think. I hate walking through town. It smells of onion bargees. It makes me want to heave, and there's so many tramps. Not tramps as in homeless people. Tramps as in just proper skanks. I praise Newport for its diversity, but it's not that that makes me chunder. It's just the local Welsh people, they're happy with stuffing their face from Greg's and buying from Primark. Oh, as we're getting further into town, it's got a bit more upmarket, it smells of cheap perfume now. Christ. I'm going to have to calm down. Whew. Yummy. Ooh, sa. 
Ironically, I might get some piece inside the bank. That's because it's not the benefit office. My card is faulty, I think. I think the chip or the strip has stopped working, so I need a new one. I've got to change my address on it as well. If you take a seat on a purple or chairs down the end. My card's not working, and I need to take some money out. That took a load more effort than it should have. I feel like I should be wearing my stab-proof vest around here. Oh god, not far to go now. <laughs> Classic. There's something so delightful about this place. You see, I live where all the students live and that's considered the better part of town. Time to get over myself, I'm back at the garage, let's see how the car's got on. Uh oh, it's outside and the bonnet's down, let's hope this is a good sign. Wahoo, well, he says it's done, you should see the pipes. This was the turbo pipe and look at the big slit in that, terrible. And look at the state of the old water pipe, it's bubbling over everywhere. But I know how to save money, that's about it. You have no idea how cheap I got that. That would have been about a grand at Ford. Just gonna give it a little drive up and down the road, see how it feels. Oh, wow, it feels better already. Oh, the turbo's back. Oh, this is so nice. If I told you what I just paid for all that labor, you'd kill me. Oh, that is so good. Beverly is gonna be chuffed to bits. We're gonna be able to go up and see her mother. Hi, Chrissy May. Would it be mean of me to play a little joke on Bev? <laughs> right, I'm just going to go up to the room where she is editing her photos and tell her. She's just coming down now. <laughs> the turbo's gone. Uh... Which means pretty much the car needs replacing. Right, I'll show you. Just drive it up and down the road, see what it feels like. <laughs> She's gonna be like, woo! Go on then, off you go. <laughs> it's working properly. <laughs> the way I saw her rev it up the road, I think she's happy. <laughs> Slow down, girl, Jesus Christ. Fine to me. Is it better? Yeah. <laughs> Bev's so pleased with it, she's gone back out on it. Now I'm telling a lie, she's got to do the tax on it. The tax is due. Hey, tax! And yeah, you should all know if it's not one thing, it's another. So if it's not a car breaking down, it's the tax we've got to pay on it. The insurance or this or that. Is your tax done? Yes. I made your cheese sandwich. Yay! Your choices and selections really coming along, babe, up here. Bev looks like she's got eight out of ten ready. And I can't pick my favourite out of all of them. <laughs> I know you've got your LRPS to do and everything, but we have got these free passes to cinema. Uh, I was thinking Dinner for Schmucks is on at like 20 to 6. Time is it now? <laughs> We're going to see another film. Are you jealous or are you jealous? <laughs> and of course, because the car's working, there's no need to walk. We can drive. Whee! Oh, I'm glad everything turned out all right today because it started off pretty badly. You've got to agree. Being forced to walk through Newport like that to get money just isn't on, especially when my card's dead. Oh. I've just had to put Bev to bed. She's not feeling very well. She's still really tired after Europe for the third time. So rather than bother, I'm going to let her sleep and go out to the cinema on my own. Something I probably wouldn't have done if I didn't have a car that was working. Oh, I have to tell you though, driving around in this car at the moment is a proper joy. Just the fact that it didn't cost an arm and leg to fix. Anyway, about the cinema, yeah, dinner for schmucks is what I'm going to go see. If it's any good, I'll go again and take Beverly. I'm not that mean. No trip to the cinema is complete without a trip to the Tesco's. For cheaper sweeties. Chocolate and Red Bull, all Sam needs. It's getting darker over here, earlier and earlier at the moment. It's only five o'clock, look. There is a big load of cloud above us, though. I'm the gay going to the cinema on my own. It's absolutely dead in here. Oh, thanks. God, it's quite a long film. Now tell me honestly, YouTube, am I a loner for going on my own? 
I'm sat in here waiting for the movie to start and there's absolutely nobody here. Please turn off your phone. Thank you. Jesus Christ, that was close on the funniest film of the year. <laughs> I'm definitely coming back to see that with Bev, she'll love it. Oh, damn it, it's dark outside already. God, I don't know if it was because I was on my own in the cinema or what, but some of them jokes I just laughed and laughed and laughed out loud. I was crying in parts. It was just so ridiculously stupid, but it really, really worked. God, that was funny. I've got to hurry back home now and see Bev and see if she's woken back up. Oh, I do hope she's feeling okay. Lights aren't on. Hello! I'm glad to see your ache again, and you're doing your LRPS still. Brilliant. We have to go and see that together. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. So I've just been chatting to Anthony. He's in Turkey at the moment. He wanted to watch my vlogs for the last week, so he's been on holiday for a week. He can't. The government's banned my vlogs over there. What? Well, they're not just picking on me. I mean, all sorts of things over YouTube. But it's funny the sorts of things they want to censor. I mean, my vlog... Anyway, I think I'll finish up today's vlog there. It's day 266 of 365. Car is working again. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.